Most of the time, water doesn't want to stretch out. But if I apply around 40,000 volts to the water, something unexpected happens. And the water bridge actually stays stable and connects the two beakers. It flows up and around the rim across to the other one. This is amazing and completely unexpected from what we normally see happen with electricity and water. Whoa. The reason this happens is because in this extreme electric field, it takes less energy to form a water bridge than to break the bridge and form droplets. But these water bridges are not very well understood. For example, we don't know why water flows from one side to the other. We also don't know why the water heats up. This is deionized water, so there should be very low currents in the water, and only one of the cups heats up. Also, for some reason, when I rub a balloon on my head, it instigates the flow of water to pull water from one cup and put it in the other. Some people say it could be charged microbubbles causing it, and some say it's a quantum mechanical effect. What do you think?